Everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Dr. Daniel Barone. This is Let's Talk About Sleep. What I wanted to uh, go over today was an interesting condition known as central sleep apnea. So uh, in previous videos and just kind of whenever we say the term sleep apnea, really what we're talking about is obstructive sleep apnea. And that is just to remind everybody, that's a stoppage of the air of breathing from the airway down here. So essentially the muscles, the, the upper airway muscles, including the tongue, when they relax, they have a tendency to kind of fall together. And that can go from wake to sleep. This would be snoring, and then here's apnea. Okay, so it's kind of on the spectrum. And what happens is the airway closes off, and that either causes the person to wake up or to have disrupted sleep. When we talk about central sleep apnea, what's happening there is this term central comes from its central nervous system based. Right, so essentially the brain and the brain stem, which is over here, that controls our, our breathing. And when the brain and the brain stem forgets to tell our diaphragm down here to take a breath, that's when central sleep apnea occurs, obviously during sleep. So what happens is the brain forgets to take a breath and over time, over a period of you know seconds to minutes or seconds to uh, a minute, uh, the carbon dioxide in the blood raises because the person is not getting rid of the carbon dioxide that their body makes. Eventually, the carbon dioxide gets so high that the body kind of resets itself and then they take a breath. Now, this is a little bit different than with obstructive sleep apnea, but as you can imagine, the, the sleep becomes disrupted. The person can, can feel tired in the daytime, so the manifestations are the same. The causes, though, are very, very different. So with obstructive sleep apnea, that can be from excessive weight, that can be from uh, alcohol, certain medications, it could be from being a man or, or postmenopausal woman, it could be from genetics, it could be from uh, various issues related to structurally the way the airway looks. When we talk about central sleep apnea, that's either we don't know why it happens or people with congestive heart failure oftentimes have it. That's, that's a very, very common thing. Uh, certain opiate medications, okay, can cause it. Uh, sometimes, like I said, we, we don't know why. Or uh, what, what can be interesting is sometimes when we put CPAP on people, so, you know, the, the, the treatment for obstructive sleep apnea is CPAP, which is pressurized air. That sometimes can induce central sleep apnea in some people. So it's a very, very complicated topic. Uh and it can be really, really uh, play hell on somebody's sleep. So it's important to figure out why if we, if we tend to see it. Uh, typically, if it's a case of congestive heart failure causing it, treating the congestive heart failure will, will improve the central sleep apnea. If it's because of opiates like um, Percocet or methadone or what have you, uh, removing those from the person's regimen can be helpful. If it's obviously in the street uh, street drug family, you want a person to stop for a variety of reasons. Uh, in somebody who gets central sleep apnea as a result of being on CPAP, there actually is a, a special machine called an ASV machine, which I'll spend the whole, I could spend the whole other video on that, which we'll do some other time. That's basically a, a, a smart version of a CPAP machine. So what this does, this ASV machine, what this does, it basically can detect if somebody is not breathing either from obstructive reasons over here or from central reasons and then overcome that, um, you know, as needed. A really interesting cause of central sleep apnea is called periodic breathing. Now this happens when somebody goes to very high altitude. So if somebody is in, uh, wants to climb Mount Everest, a lot of times what they'll do is they'll take Diamox with them, um, which is which is a, a substance what they breathe in that that helps them to um, it helps them to to uh, to stop the possibility of of uh, having central sleep apnea. Actually, they don't. I don't know if they breathe it in or, well. They, they ingest it in some way. But basically what, what it does, it prevents central sleep apnea from occurring. Um, the other possibility for central sleep apnea is if somebody has disrupted sleep, and we call that transitional sleep apnea. So sometimes if we do a sleep test on somebody, we see that they're waking up, they fall back to sleep, they're waking up, they fall back to sleep, waking up, falling back to sleep. That kind of 
state change, if you will, going from sleep to wake, that can actually induce uh, an apnea where the person is, again, forgetting to breathe. So it's a very, very complicated talk topic. It's a very complicated condition. Fortunately, there are ways to treat it. And, um, you know, I don't know if you, if you, uh, a mountain climber giving him Diamox, I don't know if that's really a treatment, but um, aside from that, though, there are ways to, to take care of central sleep apnea, fortunately. So, uh, anyway, that's a talk for today. Um, if you have questions, please leave them in the comment section below on central sleep apnea or anything, uh, really, uh, leave them in the comment section. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and please, uh, subscribe to my channel. One last thing I want to mention is my book, let me get it here, entitled Let's Talk About Sleep. This is on Amazon right now and the uh excited to find out the paperback version is coming out in may may of uh, 2019 so keep an eye out for that and uh, as always guys thank you for watching and sleep well